Hello everybody, and today I'm back, and today I'm back with another video yet again. And we're back in Super Build City for the next update. And yeah, so I left off with this burger being made, which it is finished now. Pretty awesome. There's also french fries and a drink, which I want to show you something pretty cool. So, usually, usually this water would be flowing out of the straw. But, I put borders, uh, border blocks on it, or barrier blocks, um, to make it so it doesn't come out of the straw. So it gives it, like, a really cool floating effect, almost. And I think it's really awesome. And, but yeah, I'm gonna start by showing this off. But yeah, I also, yeah, I also finished this parking garage. I can't remember if I showed it in the last episode or not. But yeah, I have this big parking garage right here, because I noticed I didn't have any parking. But yeah, this is Mine Donald's Plaza, because it's like all different restaurants or whatever. I'm going to start off with the drink, which is Fizzle. Um, yeah, water is one diamond, and, and the, all the other drinks are two diamonds. So there's all these different drinks and all the different chests. Um, yeah, this is, wait, did I not, not put water anywhere? Oh, I guess I forgot to put water. I will add that though. Um, and then I added like this lighting around it, which is pretty cool. And I had big paths and benches. Um, but yeah, this is Potato Palace. One diamond per potato product. So this is just regular potatoes, and then this is baked potatoes in here. Just because it's in the french fry one. But in the tutorial, they were, these french fries were like wood oak planks, but I changed it into the yellow concrete. I, Cause I just thought it looked better like that, but you could do it however, you, whatever way you want. And then this is the big burger called Sandwich Source. Sandwich Source. So yeah, and you get to make your own burger. And each burger is three diamonds, and then you put the earnings in these chests. Um, but this is the big cashier area, and then there's a dining area over there. Um, but yeah, this is the buns, which is bread. Um, and then there's the patties, and then there's lettuce and tomato, and over here we got the cheese, and then some people like bacon on their burgers, I'm one of them, um, but yeah, that's the bacon, it's rotten flesh, um, but that's the only really thing that looks like bacon, I'm not gonna put pork chops in there, cause they don't look like bacon, they're too light of color to be bacon, um, but yeah, and then, so that is Scrub Grove, which all finished up. And then over here, there's a new street in town. And this street is for you guys to name. So, whatever you want to name this street, whatever you think it should be called, drop a comment down below saying it. And yeah, I'll pick one of them, and that'll be the street name. And then I'll pick other ones for other streets. Yeah. I started off, so we start off the street with this little like swing set over here. Pretty cool design. Use fence gates as like the chains or whatever of the swing. And this is like the swing, actual swing part right here. And you go wee. <laughs> um, but yeah, the reason I did a swing though is because there's a school right here. Um, but I'm gonna do the police station first. And so this is Purple Guy from Five Nights at Freddy's, which I have a his head over here. Um, but yeah. Uh. There were some things that YouTube doesn't really like that much on here. Um, like, but yeah, I didn't put it on here just because YouTube doesn't like those kinds of things. Um, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is the police station in here. Here is the uniforms, big line of uniforms everywhere. Um, and then here is their tools. There's tasers and then batons. And here is the taser spikes. People slowness six, which is really bad. Um, yeah, up here what does it, say? it says break room. This is a break room up here. There's just chest and then a couch and tables. It's not that intricate. Oh, and then there's just like storage up on these arms or whatever. But yeah, that is the Super Build City Police Station. And then over here is the schoolhouse which is a Baldy statue, and 
Baldi is a character from a Roblox game that became really popular, and they just created it into their own game after. Um, but yeah, this is Baldi, and it's the Super Build City School. So, yeah. Um, we're gonna start off by going up here, which is the English room. Right in here. Book and quills, and then there's book, bookshelves. There's one of these things. Um, yeah, it's really all the thing in the English area. And then I'm gonna go over to the math area, which just has like math symbols and then different math equations. It's just addition, so. <laughs> yeah. And then up here is the science area. There's brewing stand because that's kind of sciencey. And then there's cauldrons. Um, but right here, you may be wondering why are there different redstone things like this? Well, that is because these are robot pieces. Um, you may remember I used a few of these different things. I used this and these for the robots in the Let's Play series with the Dr. Franken switch. Um, but yeah, those are like the evil robots. But yeah, the reason I added these for science is because I personally am a really big fan of robotics. It's one of my, probably one of my favorite things at school. Um, but yeah, I just like building them and then coding them. It's pretty fun. That's why I added robot pieces. But yeah. And then over here is this creeper thing. Um, but yeah, this is the Super Build City Fire Station. Um, so yeah, this is like the area where the firefighters like chill out and like make their... And, like, do their chili cook-offs or whatever. Um, the only bad thing about this is that the... There's, like, those lava drops or whatever. Right there. Um, but, yeah, this is where they chill out and, like, relax. And then... Oh, I didn't do that right. Um, if there's a fire, then they go down here. And they slide down the honey blocks. <laughs> and these are the en the fire engines. There's engine two. and Engine one and two. And then there's the uniforms here. Like the red fire helmets. And then, like, the yellow pants and vests or whatever and there's the shoes obviously um, but yeah then they get the horse and they come on out here and go to the fire and i think it's a really cool design uh, yeah and then the last thing for today is the super build city wood supply and it is woody wood incorporated actually a really cool group build like baby group or whatever in the video he only did a single layer of this pixel art but I did a double layer just for the centering purposes <laughs> but yeah and I put these trees here I was not expecting this one to be like both of them to be so big but I had to trim up the leaves up here like these are actually just natural trees somehow they're huge it really surprised me um, but these are the delivery cars um, the reason I used the mules and the donkeys is because you could put a chest you could attach a chest to them for storage or whatever. That's why I did that. And you have to use a lead after dismounting, which if you go in here and then open it, there is leads in the inventory. So yeah. But I put this really cool path right here. I think it's pretty awesome. So once you go inside, everything changes. Um, not really. But right here there's wood. There's like there's regular wood planks or no, those are logs, sorry. Um, but these are one diamond per stack, both of them. And then these are planks right here. Three diamonds per stack. Uh, because you have to craft them. And then the ones that are um, stripped, well, the stripped logs, are two diamonds per stack. And then the ones that are like the big like logs or whatever, like the solid ones without the rings or whatever, or whatever are four diamonds because it uses more wood to craft them or whatever. Like it uses more wood and you have to craft them. So both of those are four diamonds. And then right here, the stripped ones, of the stripped version of these ones, are five diamonds because you have to use a lot of wood to craft them and then craft them. And then you have to strip them too. So it just takes more. So, yeah. And then this is where the earnings are. Oh, I need to fix that. Hold on. That would probably drive some of you guys crazy. Well, that's why I'm fixing it. And I just use all different types of wood here. So, yeah, I just need like this. Perfect. Um, but yeah, I wanted to use all different types of wood. This 
some like play design or whatever. It looks cool. Um, yeah, this is where the workers go to work. There's windows here. For people to watch or whatever. And then you go through these doors. This is a really cool machine I use. I built. I used a tutorial for it though. But yeah. Uh, I think it'd be awesome. So, let me just grab saplings. And then in here there is bone meal. So you flip that on. And put a sapling there. You could sit in that if you're going to be doing it the whole time. Um, you can sit in that. Let me just check on that. You can sit in that since you're like the worker that does that. So you just keep placing them there whenever they go past. Um, and then there's someone down here with this axe, which has fortune 3, efficiency 5, and mending. And what those do is that efficiency makes it so you get more wood each time. Um, and then mending makes it so you can uh, like fix it by just getting experience. And then efficiency makes it so you... Wait, I already said efficiency, sorry. Um, but unbreaking just makes it last a longer, time, a longer period of time. So, yeah, that's pretty cool, I think. Um, but yeah, the only bad thing is that there's tons of leaves. <laughs> and then this block is just to make it so it doesn't go too high up. Um, but yeah. So what the redstone looks like is there's the lever here, which powers these. This, or when you flick it off, then the redstone keeps turning on and off or whatever. And, yeah, and then... The, there's this right here, and the observer, sorry, um, it observes when there's like a block there, and then these pistons, and it powers all these pistons to push it, the tree over, and yeah, it pushes the tree over here, and then I could just keep coming and coming all the way to here, until you could cut it down, but yeah, I think it's pretty cool, pretty cool if you ask me, I'm trying to get into redstone a lot more, it's pretty fun. But yeah, that's what this is so far. And like I said, drop a comment down below for what, what the name of the city is going to be. Whoa. I did not mean to just break this. All right, not the city, sorry. The street. <laughs> but yeah. There's actually something else I have to show you guys. But it's not in this world. It's a different world. Um, But it has to do with the real city. So that's why I'm putting it in this episode. I'm so good on time. So let me just back out of this world, and then I'll go into it. Um, so yeah, we just have to wait for this. I have to wait for it to load out of the world. <clears throat> I think my voice is a little, like, weird today. So, I don't know why. But, yeah. This is the world right here. It's called Not in SB City. It stands for Super Build City. Um, but yeah, these are all the builds that are either too big or don't serve a purpose because they're like they don't have any insides or whatever. So yeah, like there's some builds that are just way too big to have in the city. I don't think there'd be enough room for them. So yeah. <laughs> one building here, which is right here. It's a big lava Batman logo thing. It's pretty cool. Yeah, as you can see, it's a glass with lava inside it. But yeah, that's the only inside it has, because both sides are filled with glass, and then there's a lava. So, there's really nothing to do with it. So, that's why I'm not putting it in the city. Mm -hmm. But yeah, let me just try making it night. Let me just make it nighttime. I think it's good. The daylight cycle is turned off though. Let me just turn it on. So I can change it to nighttime. Yeah, it's on always day. Yeah. Uh, and then I go here, I could change it to night. Night, perfect. Let me just make it a little bit darker. Midnight, perfect. Yeah, look at that 
it looks so cool in the nighttime. Big glow. Oh my gosh. Another big bat. <laughs> um, but anyway. Yeah, that's really all I had to show today. Uh, actually, perfect timing. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, go ahead and smash that like button. And yeah. Hopefully this made your day better if you're not having a good day. And peace out, everybody.